hello guys and welcome back to my channel so i'm coming to you today because i am doing my own personal review on the baby yoda or also known as the child from a well-known and popular tv show the mandalorian obviously uh it's derived from star wars <laughs> so for all you star wars fans just kind of want to give you an idea of what it's like the sizing the price point things of that sort and also I'm going to compare it to the plush version of the doll. I'm going to compare that and so you guys can kind of see and decide which one you would like to get. If you're interested in purchasing this for a child or as a gift or what have you. Uh, just to get started for the animatronic version, there are 25 sounds and voice combinations. As you can see, it is still in the box. It has directions to touch the head, right? So let's see what it does when you touch the head. So this is how I'm doing a little force thing. give you an idea of the sizing of it this is all I had in front of me so I wanted to compare it it's uh it's very small as you can see I wish I had like a water bottle or something next to me so you can get a, a better idea here's another comparison just so you guys can get an idea of how big it is so this is an Xbox controller obviously the other item was a MacBook but it's very small just so you can get an idea of it. And the price point for this particular item is, or was $59 plus tax. We're gonna get into it and see if it's really worth that, or, you know, you guys can be the judge by the end of the video. Also, I want to compare it with the plus version, which is much bigger and uh, much more life size. So let's get into it. Okay, as you can see guys, I have it here. Um, and this is my MacBook Pro, just so that you can get an idea of the sizing of it. It is not that big. <laughs> and this is my MacBook Pro 13 inch, just to keep that in mind. So with that being said, I've already unfastened the tape because I didn't want you to see me struggling on camera. <laughs> So I am fastened the tape. It's tape on the bottom. I did see a few reviews uh, on Amazon that say that, oh, it looked like it, it was opened already. Well, I think tape is just the way to go right now. So I got mine from Target and um, this is pretty much how it came. And this is the back of the back of the box here, just so that you can see it. So here we have it. He's almost out of the box completely. And while I struggle through this, I'm gonna just come back with him completely outside of the box. Okay, so here is this little guy completely outside of the box. Yes, I just uh, put that necklace on top of his head because it was somewhere to put it. But I wanted to show you guys. Um, I read a review online and someone said that they sprayed it. I don't know if I would go that far, but it just depends on um, some people have different collections and uh maybe if they want to have this shine a little bit while they have it on uh in some type of collector's encasement that will be understandable uh for me i just wanted to get it for um for the hay of it so that is just that here's what comes in the box so you have your little guy here the child also known as baby yoda i believe this is a Mandal mandalorian necklace that goes with it and obviously some instruction manuals that let's be honest nobody really read uh <laughs> but maybe i should i don't know he actually has a nice little coat here uh one big complaint online was that it was not hemmed at the bottom that was one, actually that was one big complaint for both of them. But just so that you can get an idea, he has a robe up under his robe. Oh, looky there. <laughs> and guess what? He have feet and that's the reason why I'm going to mention that as well. 
So this will allow him also to stand up uh, straight and properly. And then there is a little button. The button says, what do it say? Try me or on and off. So you have try me on and off. So I am going to turn on and then I'm gonna see what happens next. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> yeah, you guys can see that. Trust me, if I ever um, have some care kids in my care and keeping, they I they will be they will be fine. <laughs> this is not how I treat real kids, just so you know. <laughs> and um, one thing I do like about the realism. Oh, cool. So the realism of the ears. So apparently, like what triggers him to go off is the patting of the head but also when i was touching his ears he responds to so that's pretty cool uh let's see so you pat his head three times he does the force thing and then also he has a cute little laugh <laughs> and then also when you lay him down okay he's not okay oh, yeah. So cute, he can sleepy and go to sleep. <laughs> and then he's woke again. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Uh, I, I picked the wrong surface for this, I will admit. But hey, let me just set this to the side. I'm gonna set this guy up here. Okay. And the necklace doesn't fit on his neck. It doesn't, but I would assume if you like wrapped it around multiple times, it probably would fit better. So I'm gonna try that. Uh -uh. Um, and then maybe just tuck away this part. I don't know. This definitely is nice for maybe decoration or a collection or uh, for children's play. Um, it says for four and up, so. So I just kind of wanted to start off with him. And also, here is the plush version of it. So I'm gonna set him to the side without tipping, try not to tip him over. And then just to give you an idea of the plush one, so. Obviously, the plush one is much bigger than the animatronic one. Just kind of want to give you guys a side-by-side. -side. And I'm going to lay this one down just so that you are able to get a better comparison of them next to each other and side-by-side. -side. Now, one thing people complained about was no feet. No feet. Obviously, he has a real body. Uh, this part is like beanbag material. This is beanbag material. Again, no, um, no lining. And I'm assuming that they mean that it's not folded over in, you know, um, I don't know, a technical term. I am not a seamstress. But like, you know, pleated there. Um, I like the quality of the coat for sure. I feel like if you were maybe doing cosplay or something like that, then maybe this will probably be the appropriate one to use because <laughs> uh, it's more life size for sure. One thing I think that stands out to me, guys, is his. if you look at his eyes, his eyes are really lifelike. Like they really draw you in and it looks almost wet. <laughs> but this one doesn't move, it doesn't do anything. Some people complain that there are zip ties. If you look closely, there is a zip tie there. So that's what some people didn't like about this one. What I do like is the size. Like I feel like if this one was animatronic, that will be awesome. 
at a $59 uh, price point. Now for this one, I paid that, uh, I was getting ready to say $70. Whoop. I paid $17 for this one. So I'm gonna lay them side by side just so you can kind of get a look at them and go from there. Here's another angle, uh, just so that you can see them sitting or standing next to each other. Uh, how substantially smaller this one is in compared to the plush version. Uh, also, one thing I wanted to say about the plush version, one person did say that the head popped off. I don't know how, but just keep that in mind. Uh, from their personal experience, they said that they wouldn't recommend necessarily just be careful when you uh, give these as gifts to children because of the zip ties around the wrist and the neck and as well as the head popping off. Uh, so that's pretty much that uh, when it comes to these. I actually, I like both of them. I think this one is cute. I like the size of it more. As you can kind of get an idea, this is my hand. It's poofy, a big poofy hand. And then this is like the size of the other. Um, or better yet, if I was to set this up next to it, you can kind of get an idea of how tall it stands versus the plush version. So $17 versus $59 plus tax. So you decide, or you could be like me and get both, hey. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching my review on the animatronic and plush Baby Yoda's. Uh, with that being said, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.